So I saw him recording inside people's personal vehicles, not marked units, mm -hmm. personal vehicles. Okay. So to me, that's suspicious. So right now okay. you're detained. I'm detained. We can figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay. So all right. what do you do? You might want to get a sergeant before you do all that. No, I don't have to. Okay. So this is our scene. Okay. You're interrupting our scene because we don't know who you are. How? We don't know who you are. How am I interrupting? If you're going to obstruct, continue. I'll take you to jail. I'll how, arrest how you. How am I obstructing? Because we're in the middle, middle of the investigation. Okay. And we don't know who you are. You can be, you can be standing here with weapons. We don't know. You see any weapons? I don't see. I don't know. You can conceal. I don't know. You see any Hey folks, welcome back to our channel where we talk about civil rights, public places, and how personal freedom interacts with what society thinks is right. Today's video is an interesting journey into the world of recording things in public, all right, that often deals with rules and what people feel where simply recording in a public space turns into a story full of tension, curiosity, and the desire for mutual respect. Through interactions with the public and the police, we're looking into how to balance using your rights and dealing with what people think. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our updates. <laughs> We've got some awesome content lined up for you. So let's get started. Uh, what's your name and badge number? Yeah, help first. I see you're looking in people's personal vehicles. Yeah. Which is not suspicious at all. <laughs> you don't do that ever? Uh, not when I'm not, you know, fighting crime or anything. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Just walking okay. through parking lots? No, we don't do that. Can I, uh, can I get your name and badge number, please? Officer Clapham 291. Now, okay. can I ask you why you're searching or looking in people's personal vehicles? No. Well, you can ask, but I'm not going to answer. So, okay, but so then I do have a question. No, I'm not going to answer any questions. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't have to answer any questions, so. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Doing so good. I and I saw him. What's your name and badge okay. number, sir? So I saw him recording inside people's personal vehicles, not marked units, mm -hmm. personal vehicles. Okay. So to me, that's suspicious. So right now okay. you're detained. I'm detained. We can figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay. So all right. what do you uh, do? You might want to get a sergeant before you do all that. No, I don't have to. Okay. So why are you looking at people? I'm requesting vehicles? a supervisor right now. I'll tell you what, why don't you go grab a supervisor yep. while I ask you okay. investi uh, investigatory questions. Hey, we got a captain okay. right here. Hey, yep, that's right. Hey, Cap. Awesome. So, Again, why are you looking at people's personal vehicles? I don't answer questions, man. Am I suspected are, of committing yes. a crime? Yes. You have reasonable, articulable suspicion? Yes. Okay, so what crime? Well, I am assuming that you're either A, looking in people's vehicles, personal vehicles, to okay. possibly take shit out of them. Okay. So that's a crime. That's called theft. So you're, so you're suspecting me of theft right now? I have enough reason to believe that you could be, yes. That I could be what? About to commit theft. About okay. to commit a crime. Okay. okay? So... so okay. Why are you looking in people's personal vehicles? Again, man, I don't answer questions. Okay. You know? Well, I'm telling you to answer this question. You're okay. under investigation for something. All right. Because you're cool. being detained. Okay. Okay. So, why are you looking in people's personal vehicles? Um, I don't answer questions. Okay, you can hang tight then. Yeah. And we're going to have a sergeant come out and... That's fine. The captain is right there. So. Yeah, well, he's not on duty at the moment, so okay. I don't want to well, take him on his off Pretty sure time. he's smart enough to tell you that... Uh, Nothing wrong here. Okay, you stand right here then. Can you stand by with him? Okay. This is Terre Haute Police Department. You go ahead and get his name and state of birth. He's detained still, so you can get that info. No, you're not getting that info. Just want to let you know. What's that? Okay. So, you're not, because you're, not you're under detainment, you okay. have to provide me your name, date of birth. Okay. Okay. So, so what's your name? So what's, what's going to happen what if I don't give you my name? Then you can be under arrest for okay. failure to provide your. So you're gonna, to you're gonna, identify. you're. I'm. I if I give it, it's all under need, duress. All I need you is your name and date of birth. Okay. 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 So okay. just again, I'm just making it clear. If I don't give it, you're gonna arrest me, right? For failure to identify. That's a crime, okay. right? That's a crime, right? Okay. Failure only, to, only if another crime, crime has been committed. See, failure to identify is a because, secondary charge. Because you are being detained. Okay. You have to provide that information. Sir, why are you looking at people's cars? I don't answer questions, ma'am, but I will tell you that failure to identify is a secondary charge. So if I'm not being charged with a crime or if I haven't charged. committed a No, it's a secondary. Do you know what that means? Right. It means that if I've committed a crime, I'm required yeah, to provide my ID. For committing a crime. No, but I'm no, you have no suspicion I that do. I've committed a crime, do you? You're about to commit a crime. That's you, part of the you're clause. saying it. Hold I on, am about on. to. You, that's what yes, you're saying. That's part of the clause. Okay. If you are committing a crime or about to commit a crime. Okay. Okay. Hang tight. 
Hopefully they figure, get this figured out real quick. We got the clown squad out today. Right, you have a beautiful day. Is that right? No more threats, man? No. Just throwing me in a cage wasn't a threat. Yeah, that's what a jail cell is. Show some more respect for the public next time. How about that, buddy? Now, that's what I call some real on the scene education. It's crucial to empower ourselves against those who try to bully us. And that means knowing the laws of our city, state and the federal level in the clip. We just watched HA really highlighted how important it is to understand our rights. Memorizing the Bill of Rights isn't just a good idea. It's essential. Without those rights, we'd be living in a world with unfairness, government overreach, and a serious lack of individuality. It's downright frustrating to see an officer asking another officer whether it's a crime to not provide it did. Seriously, that kind of confusion about the law is pathetic. It shows a clear lack of understanding about citizens' rights and the limits of police authority. We shouldn't have to tolerate that kind of ignorance from those who are sworn to. So let's take this as a reminder to study up. The more we know, the better equipped we are to stand up against those oath breakers when they step out of line. Let's keep holding them accountable and ensure that we're all on the right side of the law. It's our rights that protect us and it's our responsibility to know them inside and out. Keep educating yourselves and together we can make sure that these situations don't go unchallenged. Go over there and record, but not right here. Okay. Who are you? I'm the I'm law enforcement. I'm the police here. Okay. So you can go over there right. and record, but not right here. I asked you who are you. Okay. I'm telling you, I'll talk to you over there. Identify yourself. You can see my name right here. You can read. Bam. There you go. Not a good start at all. That type of attitude and approach is why they get what they deserve. Go that way, please. Back okay. number. We don't have badges. Okay. ID number. Okay. Employee number. Let's go over there and I'll talk to you. Why? Because you, you this is our, this is our scene. Okay. You're interrupting our scene because we don't know who you are. How? We don't know who you are. How am I interrupting? If you're going to obstruct, continue. I'll take you to jail. I'll how, arrest you. How am I obstructing? Because we're in the middle, middle of the investigation. Okay. And we don't know who you are. You can, you can be standing here with weapons. We don't know. You see any weapons? I don't see, I don't know. You can conceal. I don't know. You see any weapons? I don't know you. Okay. I'm asking you politely. You can record all day okay. long, all you want from over Let's there. Let's get something straight. Okay. I was standing, no. I was standing on the sidewalk. Sir, sir. You came around the car. Sir, please go over there. You, you are right now harassing me. No, I'm not. You're harassing us, actually. You're right now approaching no. me. Yeah, I am approaching you. Yeah. Because you're making our scene unsafe. How? Okay, because we don't know who you are. So what? You don't okay. know who that guy is. Okay. Can you tell him to move? He's across the street. He's right. Not, he's not in our scene. So? Okay, you're in our scene right now. Are you the supervisor? Okay. No, I'm not. Tough guy. Wait. Get back to your job. I am doing Shut my job. Shut up. Hey. Mind your business. I... I'm standing on a public okay. sidewalk. Sure. And if you're going to approach me, okay. I'm going to consider you a threat. Okay. I'm, you're, you're... You got a problem? I will consider you to be a threat. Well, you what, are you harassing me. No, I'm not. I will defend myself. No, I'm not. Do you know the state? Do you know what state we're in? Yes, we're in the state of Washington. Exactly. Go over there, please. So if I'm not breaking in your laws, you are and I'm the law. simply was standing here, okay. and you approached me, and you're I'm harassing me, here, your ass better get the hell out of out of here. Got it? No. You can walk no. over there. No. Get your supervisor. Who's your supervisor? Who's the supervisor on scene? Going. Keep going. Who's the supervisor on scene? Keep going over there, please. Your ass better back up. Your ass better back up. Go over there, please. Your ass better back up. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. I'm a free man. I was walking freely. I'm standing on the sidewalk. Yeah, I was can. not doing anything. And my freedom of speech is not interfering, dumbass. Not, it's not your freedom of speech. That's what is it then? What okay. am I doing? Okay. Am I blocking you? Am I physically doing anything? Your ass came over here and bothered me and threatened me. I'm not threatening anything. Yeah, you just threatened to arrest me for obstruction. Okay, because you are obstructing. How? Because you're hindering our investigation. How? We're stopping this to deal with you. Right How? Now. Your ass came over to talk to me. Exactly. Why? Because you're hindering our investigation. How? Because we don't know who you are. You're stupid. Okay. That is, learn the law, dumbass. Okay. That's why I'm raising my voice. I'm sick and tired of punks like you, okay. tyrants like you, okay, harassing cool. law-abiding okay. citizens. Okay. Piss off. Okay. Got it? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, you stupid like morons, standing in the room, oh, I'm going to arrest you for trespassing, or I'm going to arrest you for hindering, or I'm going to arrest you for interfering. How am I interfering? Articulate it. I'm waiting. I've explained it to you. Articulate.
Oh, man, I just live for these kinds of videos. You know, the ones where bullies with badges try to flex their muscle only to run into someone who's not having any of their nonsense? Yeah, I got to share this with you all. This video is an absolute riot, and I'm betting you're going to have as much fun watching it as I did. We're talking about a showdown with none other than the Siberian Tiger himself. I featured his channel before, and trust me, this guy is the real deal. When it comes to standing up to those badge-wearing tyrants who try to throw their weight around, he's got no chill. So if you're into watching cops getting schooled and put in their place, buckle up and hit play, you're in for a treat. Standing on the sidewalk, exercising my constitutional rights, is hindering your investigation. What, what, is, what, what is, you're doing what here, here today? here's what you're doing. When you're blocking what my camera, it, when it? you're blocking my camera, you're interfering with me. You're interfering with my First Amendment. You're That's violating you federal law. law. That's prior law. restraint. Federal law, federal violation, prior restraint, violation of my constitutional rights. Kiss my ass. Go ahead and arrest You're me. You're not a very nice person. I don't give a damn what you think about me. Have You're a tyrant. Anything? You're a tyrant. C-H-N tyrant. Okay. Got it? Sure. That's right. Okay. Sure, 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 yeah. sure. That's all you can do. That's all you can do is harass people. What's going on here? You don't need to know that. Now, yeah, I do. What's that? Okay. We're almost done. Yeah? Identify yourself. Okay. I'm a police officer. Please. I know you're a police officer. I can see police. I said identify yourself. It's right here. It's on my desk. Is that your name right here? My name. You see what I mean? You don't even have respect to properly identify yourself. Oh, you and you want respect. I don't give a damn. I'm not going to respect point pieces okay. like shit like you. Papa, it should Got be, it? It should be reciprocated. It should not be? Got it. I'm not going to respect you because you have no respect for citizens. Oh, okay. Zero. And then you threaten me. Okay. You and you are all public servants. By the way, I guarantee you it's your policy to identify yourself, so I'll check on it. Yeah, I did, and I did. I told you. You can read our names. It's all, right there. How about you, sir? Identify yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah? You too? Seems like you got a lot of cousins here. Right there, right there. Everybody, yeah, same name? This is Johnson right on it. Everybody's the same name? No, mine says Johnson. Say it again. It says Johnson. How about you? You can read. Do you know how to verbalize your name? Yeah, it says on, like I said. Yeah? The only thing I heard was this right here. And then this guy's too. You're also right here? Yes, sir. Yeah? So I would really like to be searching this video. Good! I'm not stopping you. But Your ass has you approached are, you me. Are Your ass has harassed me. You understand that we can't do that with you. I don't give a damn. I'm not stopping you. So Learn the law. Freedom of speech is not interference. Freedom of speech is not obstruction. I know. We're not, we're not <laughs> arguing your freedom of speech here. Well, then what are you arguing? We're arguing the, the fact that you're endangering our scene. How? Okay. How? Standing because, on, on because, a public sidewalk, dumbass? Standing you, on a public you, sidewalk? Thank you. Don't even think thank about you. touching me. Hey, Don't no. even think. Hey. I have freedom of movement. No. Am I being detained? I'm asking you to Am I detained? I'm asking you to Am I detained? I'm asking you to Am I detained? Am I detained? Goodness gracious. What is your name? Am I detained? Yes or no? I don't you approach the vehicle. Your silence is going to be concluded as no, I'm not detained. Therefore, I have freedom if of you, movement you anywhere in this person. country, anywhere on this street, anywhere on public sidewalk, and I can say whatever the what thing I want. I can yell at you. I can speak against you. I can tell yeah, you you, you are pieces of trash. Yes, you, you are tyrants, and there's not can. a damn not thing you can, can do. Exactly. This cop is totally flustered because he can't handle the fact that the cameraman is just standing there keeping his distance, staying quiet, and not causing any trouble. The guy is simply exercising his rights, doing what he's legally allowed to do. He's not interfering. He's not being a nuisance. He's just peacefully documenting what's happening. And yet this cop has a major problem with it. It's like he's allergic to people exercising their rights or something. Totally unreasonable and completely out of line. It's wild to see how some officers react when they encounter someone who knows their rights and isn't intimidated. And if you I've do, you to I will respectfully record from over there. I don't have to obey you or I don't have to even say, you know what? Are you requesting? I've asked you. Yes. Your request denied. Request denied. That's okay. Yes. I'm getting plenty okay. of the footage. Don't okay. worry about it. Quick, guys. And it looks like it might even be a legal search. Right? No. What's the no. probable cost for search the vehicle? We don't need to talk to you. You know. What's the probable cost to search the bag? So You're not involved in, in this investigation. Oh, that's okay. It's all public now. You don't have to tell me. I can still find out. 
But you can't stop me from recording it. I, I never said you. I never oh, said yeah. You stop. I your, can't record from over there. Your intimidation is already a threat. Goodness gracious. Your intimidation is already a threat. The moment you said you can, you're going to arrest me for obstruction, that's a threat. No, you're good on this side, yeah? Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Are we done with the car? We're done with the car. We're not done with the car. See? I got just in See? You came across somebody who is not afraid of you. Who is not intimidated of you. Who is not going to back down. Who is not going to obey your unlawful orders. Got it? And your asses better learn and learn quick. That we the citizens had enough of this shit of yours. Threats, intimidation, violation of our rights, enough. And we are fighting back. Got it? Okay. Got it? Okay. Good. So next time you're asked to see me on the street, you better say, sir, we are so glad you're exercising your rights and we are going to stay out of your way and we're going to do our thing and that's it. Otherwise, I'm going to get in your grill and you're going to hear me roar. Okay. I understand? Sure. Like a lion or like a tiger. And you will learn very quickly. And tigers don't roar, they hiss, but they got claws. And my claws are my voice. Understood? Yeah. 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 Keep on smirking. Okay. Keep on smirking. Okay. Un until, until it really gets serious. And when it gets serious in the court of law, and then when it gets serious when I file complaints, it gets real serious then. Then you learn quick. Filming in public is indeed a right protected by the First Amendment. Courts have consistently upheld this right, recognizing that taking photos and videos in public spaces is essential for free speech and press. For instance, in the case of Glick versus Cuniff, the courts affirmed people's protected right to record public officials in public places. The video you mentioned involves people asserting their right to film on a public easement. They rely on legal cases that distinguish public areas from restricted state property. Public easements are meant for everyone, including filming, and the presence of public utilities in the area supports this argument. However, the correctional officer's questioning of filming authorization highlights a possible misunderstanding of state policies versus public rights. While security near a correctional facility is crucial, it must not infringe upon constitutional rights. The, the suggestion to contact a public information officer for permission seems to conflict with broader legal permissions for public filming. Balancing security and constitutional rights is essential. The debate centers around whether the precautions suggested by the officer are reasonable or overly restrictive. The photographer's argument about jurisdiction emphasizes the legal boundary between public and state property. Public spaces enjoy broader legal protections. Even though some restrictions may apply to state-owned areas, your voice matters. Share your thoughts in the comments and let's continue exploring and advocating for our rights while ensuring community safety. Hey, your name was Officer? My name is Sheriff. No, I know y'all go by different things. I'm, a, I'm an officer in Brantley. Yes, sir. And also, work, I'm an investigator for the Crenshaw County Sheriff's Department. Cool, man. Okay. I'm out with you, so I ask you to identify yourself. But why are you out with me? Are you not driving? Did, not driving? did you pull me over for a traffic infraction? Well, actually, your windshield's busted. No, did you pull me over for that, though? I got out to check but on you, but did you pull me over for that, though? You, 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 you might be a murderer. What law did I break? What law did I break? What law did I break that you want to identify me for? I just want to know. What law did I break that you identify me for? And your tag's not coming back on file, neither. Why you run a tag? What what traffic I violation do I have? Why? What what traffic violation? No. On November 8, 2023, Jonathan Williams pulled over on the side of the road to assist his sick wife. While they were parked, Crenshaw County Sheriff Deputy Justin Wood approached them instead of expressing concern for Jonathan's wife or explaining any specific reason for the stop. Deputy Wood immediately began demanding that Jonathan identify himself. Let's watch what unfolds as Jonathan, knowing his rights, refuses to provide his ID. Baby, what traffic violation did we commit for, for, you, for you to pull us over? So, I wait. I pulled you over a, a, a suspicious am, am, I, am I pulled over? Yes, you are pulled for over. For what traffic violation? Ain't no care for. For suspicious vehicle. No, what traffic violation am I pulled over for? Come on, let me get paid. We need some money, don't we? What traffic violation, sir, am I pulled over for? Are you going to identify yourself? No, you? I'm not. Okay. What traffic so, violation? you to identify yourself. For what crime? I'm out with you. No, so you, what crime do I have to identify for? Am, am I being the, the, the detained? I'm just past the Dollar General Cemetery Road. Am I being detained, sir? 
Yes, you are. Right? For what crime? Because I am. I'm out. For what you. crime? Because I'm out with you. For what crime? There is no crime. Committed. So why am I being detained then? If like, if there's no crime being committed, why am I being detained? That's a good question, then. If there's no crime being committed, you why am I detained? You on this road. Did I get pulled you over? Pulled, you pulled over. I wanted to stop. She the was sick. Okay. She was throwing up. That. She has throw up up there also. That. And when you see me go by, mm -hmm. you got in your vehicle. You pulled up and you waited. For so you you leave. you got them coming you cold out. three you for this. Come out. You pull over. She nobody she pulled. Up. There's a oh wait. Up okay. I, I waited. Why? Why did I wait? So you got to come and code three I'm for this. You to identify yourself. That's all I ask. Why? That way I know who I'm talking to. We're talking. We've been talking. I told you my name. But why we need to identify? Huh? I, I figured you you would help my wife with something medical. And I would help but you, but you, you got them running. You're not helping me at all. You're not. You're, you're trying to identify me. Like don't I don't have to help you. Yourself. I don't have to help you. I'm trying to help my wife. I'm not concerned with you. I'm concerned with my wife. And I want to. No, you. So why aren't you helping her? So why? Well, check on her then. Check on her, huh? Want to identify me? And I haven't even done anything wrong. You said yourself I haven't did anything wrong. So why are you trying to identify me? I don't want to be in your system. A suspicious. So what makes it suspicious? As soon as you see me, you pull up. We was just coming out the store, the Dollar General right there. We just bought dog food. We just bought dog food. You you saw us and pulled over. No traffic violation, but What makes it suspicious? What makes it suspicious? What, what, what makes this vehicle suspicious though? It's a regular vehicle. All I did was just want to know who I was talking to, man. And we're talking. I'm private. I like to keep my keep keep my, my business to myself. Cordial. No, I, I don't have a problem with you. Game where you, don't you know, know sir, they, this you is not a game. To to a no, I don't. Officer. Yes, you do. I'm, I'm gonna put this out. No, no yeah, sir. Why? 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 Did, did I? Like, I asked you. Like, right back there, whenever he's pulling out, I had to get him to drive because I was sick. Right. We didn't get but right there, but that little dirt road crossway right there, and literally there's a pile of McFlurry where I threw it all up. I don't understand that, but all I'm doing is just ask to identify you. I know who you are. All you gotta do is identify yourself, and then me and him can speak cordial. I've been speaking cordial. No, I, I don't have a problem with you. Game where you don't no, identify. sir, they, they, this you is not a to game. To a law no, I don't. Officer. Yes, you do. I'm, I'm gonna put this out. No, no yeah, sir. Why? Do. Why? Did, did I, like, I asked you. Am I not right, Brandon? If he didn't. I don't want to litter, so I'm going to actually put it in, in the like, ashtray. We were pulled over. We didn't get pulled over. We were pulled over. I got out with a suspicious vehicle because you came out of a parking lot and immediately got over. She was throwing okay. up. Okay. Because I was parked but, there. So, so okay. she's going to throw up that. in the floorboard? If I ask you to sir. identify yourself, you should identify yourself. Sir, are you married? Are you married? I am. If, 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 if your wife is... He was holding my shirt while I was throwing up because I didn't fall out of the car because I was throwing up. And I could not see. I don't know what was going on. Again. All I can see is somebody whip over real quick. They're crossed. And with, so know, he might be choking so, you out. Well, I know. So in this situation, Jonathan Williams pulls over to help his sick wife park on the side of the road. When Crenshaw County Sheriff Deputy Justin Wood approaches, instead of showing concern for the wife's condition or explaining why he's even there, the deputy jumps straight into demanding Jonathan's ID. Jonathan knowing his rights refuses to provide it. Now here's the issue under the constitution, 
Specifically, the Fourth Amendment police can't just demand I without reasonable suspicion that a crime has been committed. Jonathan is doing nothing wrong. He's just trying to help his sick wife and parking on the side of the road isn't a crime. The fact that the deputy didn't explain any actual crime or show concern for the situation raises some red flag. In situations like this, officers need to have a valid reason to ask for ID. Simply being present on the roadside doesn't cut it. Jonathan refusing to hand over his ID isn't about being difficult. It's about standing up for his rights. Too often, officers use their authority to intimidate people into giving up information when there's no legal reason for it. The deputy should have first assessed the situation and shown concern for the wife instead of escalating things by demanding ID. It's a clear case where understanding your rights is essential. Jonathan's refusal to give his ID is a reminder that you don't have to comply with an officer's request unless there's a lawful reason. This kind of encounter reflects the need for officers to focus on de-escalation and respecting citizens' rights instead of using intimidation tactics. So, so, so wait, hold on, hold on, babe. So if I was sitting there choking her out, no, you sat there. No, I was holding her back over, over there. No, you said this. If I was choking her out, you sat there while I would have choked her out. And she would be dead now. But I'm trying to take care of my wife. Can you at least give us your name and, and why? Something? Why? Because I, you, you wanna know players. what I don't like about this is is why I'm saying no. Because he he's not even concerned with with, with, with my wife throwing up. He's more concerned with me. Why though? That's because is this a medical emergency? I'm assuming. Yes, sir. Is it a medical emergency? She was throwing up. Do I don't I'm not a doctor. Do you need rescue? Okay. I'm just asking yeah, a question, it, man. It, it's see, my job, you know I've been dealing with on him, so so fresh start, right? Man, fresh start. Real, what, what's your name? Deputy Casey. Deputy Casey. Yes, sir. Pleasure. I've actually been sick a while. I, have, uh, I just got stitches in my head. I had a leg fall over. I'm going to step, step right. back. If you want to, anyway, okay. So I had to get staples put in my head, so it's been making me nauseous, and I tried to eat something, and it's not. Yeah, like, yeah. And that's been like that for days. It's been going yeah, on. Yeah, anytime you get head trouble like that. Yeah, the CT scan yeah. wasn't working at the hospital, so I haven't even got that done. They did an x-ray, oh, but as you know, I've just been nauseous and pretty much tired and sick for yeah. freaking days, and I was like, yeah, I'll get a damn McFlurry, and you know, it's laid back there, like literally you can see. Dang, I hate to waste three dollars. Like, yeah, well, no, four twenty-nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. I don't know if it's a game, but you are right. So no, far, man, right? Right. But, like, like right. honestly, I don't know where the suspicious part came from. That so, is. All right, so here's the thing, right? All right, so I'll go to law states. Anytime that you come in contact with a law enforcement officer, right? Consensual so, or... Uh, if, if we ask you to identify yourself, right, especially on something like this, where it, it kind of comes out as, a, as suspicious, we don't know. Here's what is this, though? But here's the thing, and this is what I'm trying to explain to you, right? When we come up behind you, right, we we have to analyze and try to picture what's going on and be able to make that decision. It comes out kind of suspicious, right? Just making sure vehicle pulled over the side of the road, maybe holding the air, something like that, right? And then then we can figure out, oh, hey, you're helping her. Cool, right? And they're like, hey, man, do you mind if, if, if we go ahead and get your license and, and stuff like that? Just to identify who you are, right? And, and it's, it's as simple as that. Just say, hey, uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah you saw me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got on, I got on work shoes, but still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, well, here, um, does she need rescue? Do you want, you, you want me to get an ambulance to come look at her? I'm wondering if, if, if she's pregnant. I mean, uh, we can get an ambulance to come this, look at her. So this been by, what, two two days now? Maybe three? So, but would the ambulance give her a pressure test? No, they'll take her to the hospital for that. They'll do blood work on her, stuff like that. You know, this I, is who I am. We always identify who we are, right? Because so, you're, you're, because you're, you're officers, you're police officers. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how we. But, that's how we have to do it. Right. But see, I'm I'm a private private person. I just like to keep my business to myself. I understand that nothing one. nothing our, personal. Our, our you know what I'm saying? Private too. Like, just that do. I don't like my name ran through a system. Bro. I just don't. I understand. But at the same time, you understand we have a job to do too. Right? Yes. You know yes. So with that, yes. I said, would you release? So are you going to identify yourself or not? No. Sir. Okay. Were well, you under arrest? All right. Can I, can I get my wife on? Can I get my wife to call? You can. Can I have some money so I can give it to your mom? Okay. If I ask you, I'm out with you. I've seen you drive this vehicle. I'm out with you. Did you okay? pull me over? I'm behind you. Did you pull me over? I got behind you for. Did you pull me over for vehicle. for a traffic stop? For a suspicious did you, vehicle. Did you pull me it over? It is a traffic stop. That was not a suspicious, suspicious vehicle. vehicle. So you you pulled me a over because there was a traffic infraction. I broke the law. Did I break the law? 
Did I print it off? Do you need something? Well, do you need what, what to look at you? No, oh, I'm going to go, go, go like two miles up the road, okay. and I'm going to go to where my dogs are and feed my dogs. Okay. But All thank right. you. If you're just jumping in the driver's seat, just hang out with me real quick. Yes, make sir. sure that, that so is he always like this? Does he not want to just identify? Yeah, he's, he watches all those video, you know, the little videos they have on Facebook and TikTok about the auditing and the amendments, and he's just big on that. So he's, that's, that's oh, what. Well, and that's everybody's right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he's, he's just, that's his thing everywhere. That's okay. what he's always been, you know, he's always told me to, you know, passenger side, you don't have to identify. Just, you know, it's, it's always. But you know by law you have to identify. Yes, sir. By law you have to identify yourself. Yes, sir. Oh. That's all he had to do. We could have avoided it. Yes, sir. I understand. Like, I apologize for everything. Okay, I'm going to ask another question. I want you to be honest with me. Uh -huh. Have y'all been smoking in this vehicle? No, not from here. Like, maybe in Florida when we were in Florida. Okay, so he has a medical card. Okay, it's not, it's not no good here, okay? Uh, yes, is, there no. any, is there any marijuana in this vehicle? No, sir. Okay. Okay, so we can smell it coming out the vehicle. Okay, okay. well, there's nothing in there. No, sir. Okay. I assure you, like, I don't travel with anything. I won't do that. I'm not going to do that. So you showed me 10, 15, 1. Like, I even said who I was. Like, I don't, you know, I have no reason to lie. Folks, let's dive a bit deeper into this Fourth Amendment thing and the Alabama Code. So flexing your Fourth Amendment right by saying, nah, I ain't telling you who I am when there's no crime scene or shady business going down shouldn't land you in cuffs. That's just how it rolls. Alabama Code 15530 is where it's at. It spells out that a sheriff, his crew, any constable in their turf, marshals, deputy marshals, or city town cops in the county, and even highway patrol or state troopers can stop someone in a public spot if they reasonably suspect a felony or some public offense is happening, just happen. Or is about to pop off, they can ask for your name, address, and all that jazz. Here's the kicker, reasonably suspect is the magic phrase. They gotta have a legit reason to think you did, are doing, or about to do something shady. Just saying, you might be a murderer or a straight up whack. But now, I don't know if this driver has any warrants or a record, but it sure looks like these cops were on a fishing trip trying to dig up something on him just because they could. The Fourth Amendment to the US. Constitution protects against unreasonable searches and seizures. It's your shield against arbitrary stops and interrogations. If there's no probable cause or reasonable suspicion, you're under no obligation to spill your personal info. The law is there to protect you from being hassled without a solid reason. But sometimes it feels like some officers stretch that reasonable suspicion thing to fit whatever narrative they want. Hmm. Let's break it down a bit more. The term reasonable suspicion means more than a hunch, but less than probable cause. It's supposed to be based on specific and articulable facts. For example, if you're just walking down the street, minding your own business, and a cop stops you with nothing more than a gut feeling, that's not enough. They need to have seen something specific, like you acting shady near a crime scene or fitting the description of someone who just committed a crime. The idea behind laws like Alabama Code 15530 is to balance public safety with individual rights. Cops need the ability to prevent crime, but they shouldn't be able to trample on your rights to do it. When they pull you over or stop you in the street, they need to be able to articulate why they thought it was necessary. If they can't, that's a problem. In this case, it sounds like the cops were trying to stretch their authority. They probably didn't have a specific reason to suspect this driver of anything, but they wanted to run his name through the system anyway. That's where things get shady. Using a vague suspicion to justify an ID check is a slippery slope that can lead to all sorts of abuses. From the looks of it, dude's got some solid video evidence here. Video can be powerful in these situations because it provides an objective record of what went down. If the video shows that the cops had no reasonable basis for stopping and demanding ID, the driver could definitely hit him with a lawsuit for deprivation of rights under the color of law. This means he's claiming that the cops misused their authority to violate his rights, which is a serious deal. In a nutshell, standing up for your Fourth Amendment rights is crucial. If there's no good reason for a stop, you have the right to keep your info to yourself. And if the cops overstep, you've got the right to call them out and seek justice. So let's keep it real and know our rights because that's the only way to keep things in check. Let me know what you think in the comments.